Hey, how's it going on guys? Martin here. I just want to make a quick video about what is going on with Elon Musk and uh, why he's been proven that he's wrong, okay? We got a lot of people jumping into this uh, argument, okay? So let's go over and see what's going on. Uh, but before, we're gonna take a look at the market real quick and see how Bitcoin is still struggling to, 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 to recover. But we see a lot of uh, coin that holds very good or just pumping up back, okay? There's a nice, uh, it was a nice opportunity to buy a few days ago, and uh, right now they're kind of recovering, okay? Coins are going up, altcoins are pretty, pretty strong right now. So let's go and see over here. We got, we got Mark Cuban. We got Mark Cuban jumping uh, an argument with, me, with uh, Elon Musk about uh, not being right, okay? Mark Cuban to Elon Musk, accepting Bitcoin will actually benefit the environment. And there's a few arguments why he said that. So... The billionaire entrepreneur and investor Mark Cuban has a message for Elon Musk after the Tesla announced that his electric car company has suspended and accepting Bitcoin for payments. So, we at Maverick.com will continue to accept Bitcoin, Ethereum and Doge because we know that replacing gold as a store of value will help the environment. And this is so true, okay? This is so true because how much gold we're using as, a, as, a, as an industrial mineral, okay? Gold is this uh, store of value, but it's also an industrial mirror. So why why do we need to 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 mine gold just to hold it as a store as a store of value? We we just need to mine gold uh, quantity necessary to to make um, and build stuff. Okay, we don't need gold as as a gold of, as a store of value just for somebody to to, to keep it in in, in the central banks or in somebody's house. So we don't need we don't need a lot of gold to be to be mined and this is where a lot of energy is um, is spending, okay? So the hard rock mining generates more toxic waste than any other industry in the, in the United States. So he also thinks that shrinking big banks and coin usage will benefit society and and the, and the environment. I know okay, if you guys if you guys want to read this book you will find out the enemy of this country. Okay, you will find out how big banks starting the wars. You will find out who started the, the 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 World War II. Okay, so banks are the enemy of this country and are the enemies of the of the world. So there's nothing you can you can there's nothing you can say something good about banks, guys. The only thing they are here just to make money on you. So. The argument from uh, from Mark Cuban, it has a lot of weight. Okay, it has a lot of weight, and he's so true. And as we see that, as we see that, Elon Musk <laughs> just made a lot of haters. That's all he does. And we we don't talk about small haters. Okay, we don't talk about small people that that like uh, retail investors. We talk about big people that hates him right now. All he did just made a lot of unfriendly people. So another billionaire, Norwegian oil billionaire. Become mainstream Bitcoin become is it's, it's inevitable, okay? Yellow mask comments haven't changed anything. That's true. This is so true, and we can see that people still still thinking the way they think, okay? They're not uh, brainwashed by Elon Musk, okay? Um, Musk learns the hard way. The crypto doesn't need a savior, okay? Crypto doesn't need doesn't not need a king or somebody to to control it. Okay, Elon Musk is finding that the, the hard way. So Bitcoin has been rising, guys, from by not being conducted by nothing. Okay, he's been he doesn't have an owner, he doesn't have an office, he doesn't have anyone. He's been he's been he's been rising about forty thousand bucks, forty five thousand dollars until uh, until uh, Elon Musk he jumping in, but. He jumped, he, Bitcoin was raised up so nice and fast without any help from Elon Musk. So, Elon Musk just, it's, uh, it's an enemy for, for crypto right now. So, he think that, Bit, he think that uh, Dogecoin will be faster and uh, increase the size of blocks. So, Doge speeds up block time 10x, increase block size 10x, drops fees 100x. You cannot do this, okay, guys? You cannot do this unless you're going from proof of work to proof of stake. That's it. As long as Dogecoin will raise in value, it will consume a big amount of energy just like Bitcoin. So whatever he says, it makes no sense. I can't believe that Elon Musk doesn't know all the stuff. And I can't believe that Elon Musk didn't know that Bitcoin is using energy. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm comparing Elon Musk with uh, Joe McAfee. You know, a pump and dump guy. 
a pump and dump guy. So there's been a few rumors that the yellow mask sold uh, the Tesla sold some uh, all of the bitcoins, and then. Um, to clarify, he, he answered over here, to clarify speculation, Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin. So the answer over here says just sell out, just sell all you can and fuck off, okay? So yeah, Elon Musk is he's, he's just I don't know man, I don't know why he's doing this, okay? He could do this in a <clears throat> in a much better way. If you don't like it, okay. But uh, you got big investors, you got big billionaires who are embracing this technology, okay? And you are like, uh, you are, uh, you heard them, you heard them everybody. So that's not the best way to do this. Uh, let's go next, what's going on over here? Yeah, MicroStrategy buy another dip, okay? MicroStrategy buy another 10 million dollars in Bitcoin purchase, okay? Uh, the listed firm now holds 92.072 Bitcoins for a total 2.25 billion. Yeah, so MicroStrategy has 2.2 billion dollars in Bitcoin invested. This is a big deal. That's a big deal and uh, this is uh, real news. That's real news. Because this has been uh, confirmed by uh, by SEC on Tuesday. The average price 43,000. So we keep going, we keep going. We see that people still believe in Bitcoin and you should not panic. You should not panic, okay? This is just uh, fake news. It's a fake news. It's formal. Okay, I'm not wondering if Bitcoin um, it just goes down right now and uh, Elon Musk will buy more. Okay, I'm not wondering if uh, Elon Musk wants to buy more Bitcoin because you have to know anytime you miss the boat, the boat is gone. Okay, but what happened to the rich people? The rich people can bring the boat back and they're jumping and they go where they have to go. So, that's not uh, this could be very true. Okay, I'm not wondering one day Bitcoin uh, our Elon Musk will. We'll embrace Bitcoin again because, you know what? He may be wrong. He may be wrong. So, we see a big increase in, uh, in search about Ethereum. United States, Germany, Turkey lead search in interest in, in Ethereum. So, United States is the country for most interest in Ethereum, followed by Germany, Turkey, uh, and uh, Ethereum. It's very, very usable coin. It's a very usable project. Let's go next, okay, guys? We know uh, we got Katy Wood, okay? Katy Wood, like, it's, it's against and contradicts Elon Musk, okay? This is not, I can't believe Elon Musk is saying what he says, okay? Because if you know what's going on with Bitcoin, if you know how Bitcoin works, whatever Musk says, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. And this is the proof from, from, from super genius people, not, not just because I'm telling you, okay? This is uh, Katy Wood, she's been a promoter, she's been a, she's a huge investor of Tesla. But she also, she's a big investor into Ethereum uh, Grayscale and she doesn't like uh, the, the, um, the Elon Musk move, okay? She films that uh, Wood's film retired, it's instance that Bitcoin mining can help, no harm the environment by speeding the world's transaction to renewable energy. So everybody knows Bitcoin run mostly on renewable energy, so how come it... The only one doesn't know is Elon Musk. Okay, so all this stuff it's been it's been it's been rigged. Okay, it's been it's been arranged by Elon Musk to make this dump, and uh, we will find out why. We will find out why later. Okay, because we see that he's trying to work with different projects, but different project doesn't have this trust as Bitcoin has. So Katy Wood, she's very smart lady. Okay, she's like she's like next next to Warren Buffett. So. She has about a big investment on uh, Ethereum Grayscale, so I don't think I don't think uh, Elon Musk would would like to <laughs> to have bad relationship with uh, Katy Wood. I would not say that. I would not say that. Not at all. She's very important for Tesla. She's been she's been very uh, good uh, uh, person and important for Tesla. <laughs> What's going on next over here? Bitcoin investors cancel Tesla trucks orders. So you see, we, we got like a chain of bad news for Elon Musk and Tesla and stuff like that. So yes, it's not a big deal. Bitcoin investors will cancel Tesla truck. Yeah, how many Texas Tesla is going to sell, uh, cancel, you know, not too many. But all those small deals, small, 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 small deals, well, they become one big deal, okay? They become one big deal and they could, they, I think they can, they can put Tesla into, into danger. You never know because uh, crypto, Bitcoin is like, it's like a, 
religion right now, man. You can't say something about bad about Bitcoin or crypto because the community is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you see somebody from outside, all those haters that they don't own any Bitcoin or any crypto, they just hate you because you have and you made so much money. So they are feeling weak. They're feeling weak and they're attacking you. They're attacking you. And they're happy when Bitcoin goes down. But they are stupid because they don't buy. So there's nothing you can you can climb over here. So John McAfee, yeah, I've been talking about John McAfee and I, I compare John McAfee with Elon Musk. John McAfee, he used to do the same thing as, as pretty close, pretty close to what uh, Elon Musk is doing, okay? So he's been, uh, he's been uh, in charge with security for fraud, pump and dump, cryptocurrency scam. And I'll tell you why Elon Musk is doing the same, pretty much the same thing. Um, John McAfee has been in charge with security fraud over pump and dump. Cryptocurrency scheme. So what is a pump and dump? I'll explain They'll explain down over here. What's pump and dump? So they, they he used to get like a million dollars A million dollars used to get paid for from somebody just to pump a coin just to pump a coin and uh, then dump it right away Okay So this was in December between December 2017 and 2018 I, I remember those days. I remember because I was following him, but I, I didn't know what's going on I did not know what's going on with this crazy guy. So he used to recommend coin, the coin of the day, and he also used to recommend coin of the week. So he just uh, used to tweet it, okay? And he, he always claimed it that he had no stake in those altcoins, in reality, okay? But McAfee would, uh, would buy a large quantities before, before he tweeted, okay? He would buy a large quantities of, of, of that coin, he would tweet it, he would pump it nice, and the wait when the price goes up, the fall, his follower would would buy a lot of coins. The price goes up, and uh, McAfee would sell all of them. So he made a lot of multi-million dollars just from pump and dump. Okay, so McAfee and Watson, those two guys, they've been working very hard to make a lot of money. Are facing seven charges, each count carrying between five and twenty years in prison. Okay, so because why I'm why why I think Elon Musk is pretty close to um, McAfee is because because. There, there's proof. I don't have time to, to prove this one to show the the, the research, but there's research showing that and a few minutes, a few minutes before before Elon Musk tweet, there was always a guy buying a huge big quantity of Doge, okay, and then sell it and then sell it anytime. So how come how this how can be this a coincidence before Elon Musk tweet somebody will buy a big amount? Of, of Doge coins. There is no way this can be a coincidence. So, Yellow Mask, he has no, he has no, he has no meaning to to make you guys rich. Okay, he's uh, the first of the first of all this. He's, he has to benefit first, and then if you benefit, then you like it. Okay, so I don't see why he would pump this coin to make anybody rich. Everything he does, that's a, that, that's on his financial interest. He doesn't care about planet. He doesn't care about you. He just gonna make a lot of money just because you guys follow him. So, <laughs> so this is uh, Jimmy Caffey. He also said that um, this is this is his tweet. Okay, this is a tweet in uh, 2017. He said that uh, I predict Bitcoin at one million by the end of 2020, and I will still eat my dick if I'm wrong. So. The price of Bitcoin has not reached $1 million by December 31st, 2020. Jim McAfee has promised to eat his own dick on, on national television. This was a huge, huge news at that time. I remember this, this tweet. I remember all those. It was crazy. You know? People was buying Bitcoin crazy. Everybody used to buy Bitcoin, but he used to dump it. Okay, He used to dump it crazy. People buying, and he was the only one making money. Okay? So... If you're new to this crypto stuff, man, that's a lot of stuff going on that you don't know, and it's good to know before you fall into Elon Musk, okay, uh, trap. So, you have a great day, guys, and uh, you know what? Make good decision. Make good decision. Don't follow everybody and don't follow uh, all those people that are very influential because they are benefiting first from making more money on you on you because you're buying dogecoin on his tweet and he sells it so you have a great day and I'll see you next time please guys like and subscribe this video and comment down below okay and tell me your opinion what you think about this okay bye bye